friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be setting up my bullet journal for March 2020 and this video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I'll talk to you more about Skillshare near the end of the video, but for now, let's hop right into the first page. So this theme is inspired by the first inklings of spring. So I wanted to include quite a bit of green, some foliage, and I did want to continue on with at least an accent of gold to tie this theme in with all of the other themes I've done in 2020 so far. So I'm starting by mixing up a custom green using my Winsor & Newton watercolor set. As always, all of the supplies I'm using will be linked in the description box down below, so check it out if you're looking for something in particular. But I'm mixing together sap green and yellow ochre to create a little bit more of an olive green to use throughout the spreads and I'm applying it to the page with a very watery brush to get more of a light wash of color. The page on the left is going to be my quote page and the page on the right is the cover page. So on the left side I used a flat brush sweeping the color back and forth and then on the right side of the page on the cover page I wanted more of a rounded shape so I used more of a rounded brush and I actually felt that I added too much pigment on this blob on the right. It was a little darker than I'd wanted. So I ended up going over it with white watercolor just to fade it out a little bit and make it a little less harsh. Once I had the shapes down, I wanted to add the leaves. So here I'm going in with this same green, but with less water on the brush so that the pigment will come out darker. And I'm using a more detailed brush to create these branches. I'm trying to draw a variety of shapes and sizes of leaves, some of them directly attached to the main stem, some of them on their own little stems, to add some variety and make them look a little more realistic. Once the watercolor had time to dry, I went in with this gold marker to draw the outlines of these geometric shapes. So on the left side, I decided to draw out an elongated hexagon. And once I had the first hexagon in, nice and even and centered in the page, I drew another hexagon on top that was slightly skewed, slightly twisted, just for a little bit more interest. Then on the right page, which is the cover page, I decided to do circles. So I did the same thing where I drew a circle as close to the center of the page as possible. And then I shifted my little circle tool here a little bit and drew another circle slightly overlapping. I drew on top of the watercolor blobs but I tried to remember to skip over the leaves so that it would look like those watercolor leaves were sitting on top of the shapes. Then I went back in with my marker to write in the quote and the header for the cover page. So my quote for March is good things take time. And I feel like this is just generally true, but also really applicable to this time of year because I think a lot of us start to get cabin fever near the end of the winter if you, like me, are in the northern hemisphere. And I feel like once we get to March, a lot of us start chomping at the bit for spring, but it's nice to remember that good things take time and spring won't be here for a little while yet, but it's going to be worth it because spring is a beautiful thing. Now I'm going in with my gold watercolor. This is actually a different shade of gold watercolor than the one I used in my last few videos. So again, everything will be linked in the description box down below, so the specific shade I'm using will be down there. This is just a bit of a darker, almost more bronzy gold, which I thought would look nice and give maybe more of a contrast to the green. I also decided to add an outline and some veins into the leaves on the right side. I didn't do this on the leaves on the left side and you'll see as I go through I kind of alternate between adding gold to the leaves and leaving them just the plain watercolor. I thought the variety would be nice and I liked both so I just thought I'd play with it and do what felt right on each page. 
and I'm going in with my detail brush to add this gold watercolor on top of all the areas I drew in with my gold marker. Now again, I've said this before, you can just stick with the gold marker or gel pen or whatever you're using, but I just love how this gold watercolor adds so much of a reflective quality. It's just so beautiful and vibrant. So to me, I wanted to spend that extra time to add this watercolor on top, but if that's too much work for you, or if you're just happy with your gel pen or your marker or whatever you're using to get your gold, then of course you don't have to do this step. This is just an extra step that I like to do because as I've mentioned already this year, I really love shiny things and this watercolor just makes the page so shiny it's irresistible. Once everything was filled in and covered with the gold, I added a bunch of dots of varying sizes to make it look like there were drips or spray of gold on the page. You could just add quite a bit of water and the gold watercolor to your brush and tap it or flick it at the page to get just an irregular spray of dots. But I always find when I do that, it doesn't go the way I planned. A lot of time, more paint gets on my table than gets on my page. So I decided to just do them by hand and try to make them look as random as I could. Once my cover page was done, I moved on to the quote page and did the same thing, adding the gold watercolor on top of all the areas I drew in with my marker. I'm doing my best to keep the lines straight and an even width, but of course I don't have the steadiest hand in the world and even though I'm using quite a fine brush, the lines do get a little bit wobbly, but I actually like this. I feel like it gives the spread a little bit more of an irregular quality. It feels a little bit more natural and organic because it isn't perfectly straight. It definitely felt ironic to fill in this quote with my tiny, tiny little brush because it looked great when it was done, but my goodness, did it take a long time. Once I was happy with the quote page and the cover page, I moved on to my next set of spreads, which is going to be my monthly calendar on the left side and my trackers on the right side. I started again with some of these watercolor blobs. And then on the left side, which is going to be my calendar, I drew two rectangles slightly offset from each other. And then I added a couple branches with leaves on the bottom right hand corner of this rectangle. I realized after the fact that I had been trying to make the plants look like they were on top of the border, not underneath, which I forgot because I did the border first but I decided it wasn't that big of a deal and just left it as is. Once I finished those leaves, I moved on to the leaves on the tracker. So for this, I decided to do two larger branches on the top left-hand corner and on the bottom right-hand corner, generally curving to follow the eventual oval shape that I'm going to draw with my gold marker. Once I finished the branches on my tracker spread, I went in and created this elongated oval. So I tried to use this circle template thing that I have to create the two ends and then to connect them with a straight line. And then just as I did on the last spread, I felt like this blob I did on the right side ended up a bit darker than I wanted it. So I went back over the dry paint with some white watercolor again to just wash it out a little bit more, blend it in a little bit more into the page and into itself to get just a softer look. Once that was dry, I went in and created another oval just slightly offset from the first. If you decide to recreate this month's theme or any of my past themes, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your work. As I did last month, I will be reacting to your recreations in a separate video once again. So look forward to my next video coming out on Wednesday, where I will react to as many of your recreations as I can. Once I finished the border, I went in and added the lettering at the top of both spreads and then went in with my black fine liner to create the main lines of my calendar. I decided this time around to just do the horizontal lines of the calendar rather than creating an entire grid. I liked how minimal this looked. You still got the idea across of where each day is without having too many excessive lines. I also added the headers for the days of the week along the top with my gold marker yet again. Using the same black fine liner, I created all of the habit tracker boxes. I haven't done a habit tracker like this in a really long time, but I felt like switching it up, doing something a little different, and we'll see how it goes. 
Then I just went in and added all of the various habits I'll be tracking. A lot of these are just carried over from my self-love tracker for February, but there are a few other little things in there. So I'm working on waking up by 8 a.m. every day, journaling every day, stretching, meditating, working out, doing my skincare, tidying, and taking my vitamins. Once I finish that, it's time for going over everything with my gold watercolor yet again with my teeny tiny little brush. I'm going to speed through this process because you already saw me do it once and it did take quite a bit of time yet again. Good thing I was listening to an interesting audiobook. Also decided to add a bunch of these dots, this sort of faux splatter effect yet again. It's really hard to intentionally create something to look irregular and random and organic. So I did my best to create a bunch of different size dots and to just randomly place them, but I found myself continually placing dots in similar formations or evenly spacing them from each other. So this was actually more of a challenge than I would have thought to create these random splatter dots. Once I finished painstakingly painting all of these tiny dots, I was ready to move on to the last spread of this setup, which is my first weekly for March. So for my weekly, I am yet again doing my faux Dutch door rolling weekly. If you're not familiar with this weekly spread, I highly recommend you check out my video that is completely dedicated to the rolling weekly, both a two page version and this three page faux Dutch door version that I'm doing here. I'll link it for you in the card and in the description box down below. So for the weekly, I decided to create kind of a banner header for the entire weekly on the first page at the top and then to create little circle headers for each day, as well as a little mini banner header for the task list on the last page. And you'll see what I mean as I continue to create it. But again, I decided to start with my green watercolor to get those in there, get them drying. So I went in with my gold marker to create the banner at the top. For this one, I decided to do another elongated hexagon, but elongated horizontally instead of vertically. And as I said, for each day of the week, I decided to create just little circles. So again, I made the main shape for each one and then I went back in and created a second shape slightly offset from the first. Once I finished all my shapes, I went back in and did the lettering. This is the 10th week of the year, so I labeled it week 10. I felt some of my leaves dried a little bit lighter than I wanted, so I went back in with a bit more green and a little less water just to add some shadows to certain parts of the leaves. Once I finished that, I grabbed more of my gold watercolor and went over all the gold yet again to give it that super shiny reflective quality. I also decided it would be fun to do more of these splatters on the weekly as well. So I added little splatters to each of the separate shapes I created on the spread. Again, doing my best to make them random, but it was way harder than I thought. I let that dry and then I flipped the page to do the second half of my weekly. Again, doing the same thing, starting with my watercolor leaves, then adding the borders and the lettering, and then going in with my gold watercolor for that final shiny effect and adding the splatter dots. And with that, we are finished this setup. Before I show you a final flip through of the spreads, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people. 
Join me in making 2020 a year of exploring new skills and deepening your existing passions. Skillshare offers so many different types of classes, whether you're interested in visual art, creative journaling, lettering, photography, videography, and so, so much more. I am currently taking the interior decorate like a boss class by Rose Stanick. My husband and I have been redecorating our home over the past few months, really focusing on trying to make our house feel like a home. And I have been learning so much from this class so far, and I'm only about a third of the way through. I highly recommend you check out Skillshare if you haven't already. It is an incredibly affordable service coming in at less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. The first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in my description box will get two free months of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And with that, here is the final flip through of my March setup. This theme turned out even better than I imagined it in my head. Something about it makes me feel so calm and relaxed, which after the hectic mess that has been February, I am very grateful for. I also want to take a quick moment to thank my patrons for their support. Extra special thanks to our newest patrons, Anna Delphia, Tracy, Jennifer, Katie, Scott, and Justine. Welcome all of you to the squad. We're so excited to have you. If you at home want to join the squad, feel free. There's a link in the card and in the description box down below. And with all of that said, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for spending your time hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye friends. If you're looking for something else to watch, I recommend you check out this video or this video.